Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. I also have a Libra channel, Lady Libra Tarot. The links are in the description box below the video. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or the link to our Etsy store for our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, or our website, because I also have spiritual stuff over there, um, check it out. The links are in the description box below the video. Let's get into this cancer. I will do the all 12 at the end of the video. Okay. Cancer, I... I feel like you have had a breakup of a friendship that you thought would last forever because you thought this person was your ride or die. Um, you thought they were trustworthy, but they are going to be the one to have to apologize. So let's, let's see what's happening. What's up? Tell me about cancer. Oh. Cancer, I feel like you had a friend, or should I say you thought this was your friend, but this is a friend of me. Um, they regret, they have some regrets here because you were in a partnership. You were in a partnership with somebody. They saw an opportunity for a new beginning in love, so they betrayed you. You were with somebody and they chose to do something because I don't know if they were jealous. Um, you could have been married. Could be married to this person or they're a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. I feel like this, this person was trying to be patient here because there was some back and forth and he had to make a choice of what relationship he wanted. So I feel like maybe this has been going on for, you got two twos here. Could be going on for two months or two years. Behind your back. See, this person, this king of pentacles is going to communicate, emotionally communicate an apology. He's going to tell you about this queen of swords. This could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody you, you thought you could trust. You could not trust this person. You know, the problem with this is this person was jealous of you. They wanted the life you had, right? See, you're working Empress Energy. You're the Queen of Pentacles. You could be married to this person. You're going to end the deception. You're working to end the deception. You figured out what was happening. You did. You figured out what was what was up. You could somebody could have interfered in your marriage. Somebody that you trusted. Somebody that you called their called them your friend. See, you're getting an apology, but you're getting the apology from your, your spouse. Um, I feel like whoever the person is that you're dealing with, um, they feel so entitled to your marriage or your husband. Tell me about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's forbidden. Round and round you go, right? So, uh, see, you're going, this was a surprise to you, right? This is a surprise that caused you to have heartbreak. But this person's going to reap their karma, right? Because what they did, you were married, 
and, and, and you may be going round and round about, you know, this person telling them, you know, he was a married man, you're married. This possibly this person is also married, but it's off limits. You know, it's off limits. Why would you, why would you cross those lines? Especially if you're friends, if you're friends. I feel like you want clarity here. You're, it's illuminating clarity, the harsh truth about the deception. Like you're, you're trying to find some peace and balance here, but you're back and forth. You're trying to, like you're trying to, I almost feel like you're trying to remain calm, Cancer. You're trying to, but you're not looking at the water. You're looking at the fire here, right? You're looking at the fire. You're pissed, right? You're trying to remain calm and peaceful but you're back and forth because of the harsh truth about this deception illuminating you need clarity, right? I love this card because you see the snake in where my thumb is, right? It's illuminating the snake. You're, you're finding out, you know, you know, this person played mind games and manipulated you. Not saying anything, not saying anything, but they fed into it, right? She kept quiet about what was really happening, but would manipulate you possibly in times that, oh, you know, you should do this or you should do that. So she could have time with your man, right? There was some manipulation going on. You know, the, the high priestess is somebody who keeps secrets. They don't talk about it. They don't, they keep secrets, right? So this person, even in their, even in their, um, how they're manipulating the situation, they're still going to stay quiet about what's happening. They're going to keep their, they're going to keep their own counsel, so to speak, right? You're going to have to recover cancer from this from this person. You may have known this person your whole life. It's almost like this is really, um, I almost feel like, see, it's a double betrayal. See, here's how you got to look at this too. Cancer, usually when your person cheats, they're cheating with a stranger, right? And so in most cases, and I would say in those cases, it is the issue of your husband and you, right? Because you, uh, that person, that third person isn't part of the marriage. Just you and your husband are, right? So the blame falls on the husband solely, right? But in this case, if this was somebody you've known your whole life and you were, it was supposedly a trusted friend, they're both at fault because both of them are, um, you know, in that same circle, so to speak. This is going to be a hard pill for you to swallow. So, because even if your husband ever cheated on you, um, the difference is, is that they betrayed you with somebody that you actually had a close connection with and you loved. Um, they took that leap. They did. Uh, right. And it's almost like. Instead of this person holding back, they took a leap of faith. You know, they saw their chance, they saw their opportunity instead of holding back because morally, you know, it would have been the right thing to do was hold back and maybe even to tell your friend, hey, your husband came on to me or whatever the case may be. Instead of holding back, they took that leap of faith. And this is a strong tower, okay? This tower falling, cancer, it's coming up on you and this past person. This is shit literally hitting the fan. I mean, it just blew it up. This blew it up with this person again, King of Pentacles. Now trying to emotionally communicate that he wants to work on this situation.
Um, he may even be blaming. They, he may even be bl blaming your friend or your frenemy for what happened, saying her judgment was to betray you. So he's trying to act like he's innocent in all of this. He's ready to work on the situation. He does want a victory, but he's at a crossroads. Discontent. Yeah, uh, he doesn't want to get divorced. Let's just put it that way. He's discontent about justice. He's discontent about it having to take responsibility for his actions. Okay, so I feel like he may even blame the other party, but these two are swimming in the same pond. They're equally at fault for this. So let's get all 12 signs, guys. Just know that um, I almost feel like the husband's throwing the friend under the, under the bus um, to try to save his own ass in this. But, you know, people, people will do what they do, right? They don't want to own it. They don't want to take responsibility. Tell me about cancer dealing with all 12 signs, starting with Aries. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, mm, this could be a decision to rebuild, or this could be a, a choice, a third party choice. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Somebody might not tell you that they want to recover a situation. They might keep that to themselves, that they, they may want to recover the situation, but they're not going to tell you. You're dealing with a Gemini. They're unhappy that they have to apologize. They're discontent because they have to apologize. If you're dealing with another cancer, they're at a crossroads about a family situation. You're dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of drama in a commitment. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody's waiting for justice. If you're dealing with a Libra. They're very guarded and defensive over an argument. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're manifesting divine timing. They're manifesting fate is what they're manifesting. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like Sagittarius, you may be uh, heartbroken for the Empress or the pre-Empress, heartbroken for the pre-Empress. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, mm, someone's trying to be patient be, uh, or try to balance some kind of mind games and manipulation, trying to balance out the mind games and manipulation. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're cutting out a relationship. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, um, there hasn't been, it, there hasn't been any equal give and take for a long time. So guys, I'm going to leave that there. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay blessed.